now that we've taken the time to set up each one of our input channels and apply EQ, dynamics, and panning within the stereo field, let's go ahead and take one of those input channels and apply one of the default effects to our mix. Using the default internal effects, we can add either reverb, chorus, delay, or a bunch of other time-based effects along with our channel. This can be done by using mixes 17 through 24 to send signal from that input channel to that virtual effects rack. The signal returning from that virtual effects rack is gonna land back on the console on stereo inputs one through eight. You have your choice of a lot of different units. Anything from reverb to chorus to flange to delay, lots of different options which are available within that virtual effects rack. Let's walk ourselves through the steps of taking an input signal and applying one of those virtual effects. Keep in mind, mixes 17 through 24 will send signal to your effects rack and the different effects processors within that rack. Each one of those effects processors are gonna return their signal to your stereo inputs one through eight. First, you want to make sure that the input channel that you wish to use to send signal to the effect is selected and that the fader is turned up. Next, we'll make sure that the selected channel encoders are being used to send signal to mixes 17 through 24, as well as the matrix. When I start adjusting encoder number one, this will start sending signal to mix number 17. Since mix number 17 feeds our first effect unit, we can see that signal coming into the effect in the meters. We can also see that that signal is being output from that effect. Next, in the central logic section, we will want to make sure that we select the output and then choose the stereo in return. Turning up that stereo in return fader will add that effect to our mix.